Gemini, I am your astrologer, Wonder Girl, taking you to new heights. Here is your weekly forecast for the week of Monday, November 27th to Monday, December 4th, 2017. Now, what is going on this week is we've got a lot happening right here where Mercury and Saturn are conjunct in your seventh house of partnerships, of relationships, of other people going on uh, this week. Um, really trying to make some big commitments and some big decisions about relationships. Who do you want in your life? How do you want these people in your life in some way? Trying to just figure out here what's going on and who you can commit to that you feel like is good for you uh, in some way. Perhaps some new relationship chapters as well. I don't think this is a, a different thing. I think you've been thinking about relationships for quite some time here, especially with Mercury and Saturn conjunct last week as well, and especially with Saturn being here for a few years. <laughs> I think relationships have been something you've been thinking about, but I think Mercury and Saturn here are asking you to make some decisions here, make some choices, figure some things out, and make some commitments uh, so that you can start to do what needs to be done with relationships and have some of the relationships that you want and need. Okay, so that's what's happening there this week. While that's going on, we also do have Jupiter hanging out in your sixth house of your job and of your daily routines coming in. I think you're trying to figure out how you need to change your job, what you need to do differently on your job or on your daily routines in some way. I think this has a lot to do here where Neptune is um, in your 10th house of your career. Um, and your social standing and your life direction in some way with Jupiter and your sixth making a trine over to Neptune in your 10th house. So I think you're really trying to figure out what kind of job you want, how you can expand your job, how you can have the good set of daily routines that works for you that can help you move your life in the right direction, have the career that you want, have the social standing or the reputation that you want in some way. Okay, and I think you're trying to figure that out with both Jupiter and Neptune being here. I think there's a real opportunity for you to get some insights about your job, about your daily routines, and about which ones you need to put you in a better place, which can also help you too with your relationships, to figure out your relationships and what people you need uh, in your life as well. Now, while you're trying to figure out your job and your daily routines so that you can have a better career and a better life direction that you want, I also do think that there could possibly be some insecurities or some fears that do come up as well in regards to that. That's because we do have Venus here still in detriment, where it does not like to be in Scorpio, um, in your sixth house, in a um, trine over here to Chiron in your tenth. So I think as you're trying to figure out what job you need, what set of daily routines to create a life that you want, maybe still a little bit worried that you don't you don't know if you're doing the right thing. Is this the job really for you? Is this the career? Is it going to work out? Can you work these things together? And I think the message is not worrying so much here about where your life is going and about if it can work together and just moving forward anyways, doing what you think is best for you on the day to day that can create a life for you that it is that you really want and to not let all these uncertain feelings hold you back from moving forward. Okay, and from doing what it is uh, that you need to do to find some real potential and get some real insights there. Okay, so that's what's happening at the beginning of this week from Monday to Thursday. <laughs> then what happens towards the end of the week on Thursday is that we get Mars right here, which is going to be in your fifth house of happiness. Um, and it's going to be in an opposition with Uranus, which is going to be in your 11th house of your goals and of your dreams and of your hopes for the future. So after you're trying to think at the beginning of the week about how you can really have a job and a set of daily routines that are going to put your life in the right place and who can help you here have the job and the daily routines that you want, I think there could be some unexpected things that come up in regards to any groups of people that you associate with, in regards to your goals or dreams for the future, um, or who it is that you feel inside to be authentically yourself. Maybe you get some some unexpected insights about your life and about where you see your life going or something comes up that changes a little bit your life and who you thought you were going to be and I think what you're going to have to figure out then is how to take some of these insights about your life and about where you thought it was going that perhaps you weren't expecting and integrate it into um um, what makes you happy and how to be happy here with these new goals, with these new insights and to do something that it is that you enjoy now that kind of your vision for life has taken a weird turn. Okay, so I think that's going to happen there because Mars is the faster moving planet of the two. It's your job that's going to have to change. It's what you do on the day to day that's going to have to change as a result of these insights that occur. Now for the rest of the week, I'm just going to delete my chart here to make it easier for you to see what's happening. Let's see. All right. I'm going to write Gemini right here. This is you. Um, now for the rest of the week, what we've got going on, um, and this is going to happen on Friday, is we've got Venus moving into Sagittarius, um, which is going to be your seventh house of partnerships. 
really making some of the uncomfortable things that you were feeling while Venus was in Scorpio about your job and about your daily routines and about what was going on there. I think it's going to make it a little bit easier for you. Well, let me write this again. <laughs> All right, this is, I think it's going to be a little bit easier for you to have some of the relationships that you need towards the end of the week to think more seriously in a much better way about the people that you need in your life. Um, the end of the week to me is less about what your job is like and what you need from your job and more about, all right, what are the relationships going on? What can happen with other people that you need to put your life <clears throat> in the right place in some way that should be a little bit easier than it was at the beginning of the week. Um, as Venus moves into your seventh, though, the sun also going to be here in a square with Neptune, um, bringing up perhaps some confusion as well about your career, about people, and about what people can help you point your life in the right direction in some way. So it's like one of those weird weeks where you're like kind of getting insights about your job and what job you want and what set of daily routines can help you move your life in the right direction and starting to feel better. But then at the end of the week, I think needing to bring it all together. You know, maybe there's still some things that are uncomfortable for you. Maybe you're still trying to figure some things out. But I think at the end of the day, you have to figure out how you can have the relationships that you want and need and how these relationships can help you move forward in your career. Because this is a square, you need to realize that these two things need to be done together. Squares indicate things you do, you do like simultaneously almost. Um, so the message here is not to abandon some relationships in favor of a career, in favor of a life direction, or to abandon a career so that you can have the relationships that you want. The message at the end of the week is how can you bring these together? How can you have the career and the relationships <laughs> um, that you need? How can people help you with your career? How can your career help you have the right people in your life in some way? And I think that's what you're trying to figure out at the end of this week is how to bring it all together and to, to overcome some of these issues that keep coming up time and time again and finally get some real clarity on it moving forward, okay? While that's going on, while you're trying to figure out how to have the relationships that you need to point your life in the right direction, there's also a full moon here coming in in your sign, Gemini, on Sunday here, which rules everything about you, saying there's some kind of identity of yours, <laughs> of who you are, of who you think you are, <laughs> of who you want to be, that's going to have to end. You're going to have to let go of some old person that you were so that you can give yourself over to your relationships, have the relationships that you want, work better with people, and to continue and to commit to working with them in some way. And so I think the full moon on Sunday is going to ask that you make sure you're taken care of. You make sure you have everything you need. You make sure your life is in order so that you can then start doing the relationship thing and making relationships work with other people and doing a lot of compromising here that comes in with the seventh house um, to create a life that is better for you in some way. While the full moon in your sign is happening, Mercury, your ruler, also going retrograde around the same time, helping you say, you know what, if I'm going to focus on other people and not me and not what I want, um, I'm going to make sure that I'm doing the right thing here with relationships, that I'm having the right relationships, that the people are for me. I'm going to go back and I'm going to redo some things with relationships, maybe get some people that I missed that I needed here and put them in the right place <laughs> so that you can keep moving forward, doing something that is important to you and really begin to build something that you want and that you need and that can help you with other people in some way. All right. Um, so that's what I see going on for you this week, Gemini. Now, your card for the week is the Ace of Swords upright. This is a beautiful card for Gemini. Lots of insights this week um, about your life. Lots of clarity here. There's lots of information, I think, that's going to be good for you to help you understand where your life is going. Big breakthroughs with this card, too, coming in that I think are going to be really important for you to get the insights you need to figure out where your life is going, what job you need to have the life you want, and which people can help you get there. And I think you need to go with it this week. If you feel like the insights aren't there, maybe you need to keep thinking about it, thinking about it in different ways, gathering more information, which I know Gemini's love to do, uh, to find the clarity that you need. And I think if you can do that, there's going to be real insights there to help you figure out what's going on and how you can move your life in the right direction in a better way. All right, so that's what I've got going on for you this week, Gemini. Thank you so much for watching my horoscope. If you like it, please like it on YouTube, subscribe to my channel, share with your friends, and I will talk to you later.